All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Gentleman TV. So, we got this going on right here. Three games left in the season. Let's simulate through this date. And, uh, what do we got? Oh, my God. Dude, there's like two, night, two nights left in the season. This guy's getting on me. And but we did make the playoffs, man. We had a nice run there at the end. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Um, rookie of the year, Michael Carr Williams. That's expected, man. Is this everything going to be the same thing as in real life? Uh, Jordan Crawford wins sixth man of the year, not Jamal Crawford. Dwight Howard, defensive player. Gerald Green, most improved player. We're going to go after him, man. He, he got some nice averages out there. Got, Goran Dragic got so two sons, guys. Real life and uh, this. And we get all NBA first team from the Hornets. My man, Damian Lillard. Um, by the way, guys, we met almost all of our goals. Like, the only one, the single only goal we ever got that we failed was, uh, Cody Zeller, 24 minutes a game. And we said we wouldn't make that. Coach, I mean, G8, not GM, owner, is at, like, 100% happiness. Al Jefferson, All-NBA second team. Anybody on the, uh, on the defensive teams? I bet not. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I'm happy with what we got, though. And all rookie teams, no, nah, nobody for us. But all NBA first team and all NBA second team, I'll take that. We're taking on the Heat here. And um man, I'm I'm probably not gonna play any of these games. We're probably gonna take freaking Oh wow, okay. If we somehow pull out a title without me even playing, we got Chris Douglas Roberts back in the lineup, guys. Pause. No way. No way. Oh, the Heat are not coming back from this. We are the eight seed, man. And the Heat bring it to a Game 7. The Heat bring it to a Game 7. And we... We had them in the palm of our hands. A 3-1 to one lead. And we just got slaughtered in those last games. Yeah, we weren't ready for the uh, playoffs that season. And, I mean, you can't go and take a team and make them a champion in the first season. Who are like the uh, Hornets. So... The Heat cut it close in that series and in our series. They almost lost to us. They got very close to losing to us. LeBron, obviously, playoff MVP. The players that are retiring. Any players in here that would like to... I would love to have Steve Nash as a uh, as a coach. I wonder if you can. I, we can sign Derek Fisher, possibly. I don't know if... It, they ha Again, I don't know if they have to have played for your team or what. But um, Steve Nash is Hall of Fame inductees, obviously, man. Steve Nash, unbelievable player. Well, he actually, he's my favorite of all time, Steve Nash. Our projected profits are dead, man. Those went from 30 million to negative 12 million. Our staff budget is simply too high. We played either Tony Hamilton or Trent Mason with someone cheaper. Okay, um, I can accomplish that. Tony Hamilton or Trent Mason. Uh, new wish list goal I'd like you to achieve. Last season, the uh, team really took a bath. Money is going to be really tight this year. I need you to stay under the budget. Under the budget. All right. Ah, uh, I might accomplish that. We'll see. I don't want promises. I want results. Um, not happy with Josh McRoberts' production. I want you to go out and get us a new power forward. I can accomplish that. I think getting another big man is something that's going to be important for this team. And reviewing the budget. We don't have any. Are we supposed to go? Uh, we're supposed to go under the budget, right? Man, let's turn down the points. The points are getting to be a little much, man. We're spending too many points out here, seriously. Um, let's just do that. Oh, all right, never mind. I, I thought this was the budget that he was referring to. I don't know what he means by staying under the budget, to be honest with you. And we got, uh, yeah, we made the playoffs, man. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll hope we get the, uh, if we somehow win the lottery, that would be insane. That would be absolutely insane. <clears throat> Come on, man. We got two first-round picks. We can try to trade up, try to get Jabari Parker, who I'm going to guess is going to go around number two. He's per currently my favorite rookie. My favorite upcoming rookie. Come on, baby. Not us. Damn it. All right. So we get the number 12 pick. Damn it. Okay. We got the 12 and 16. Um, And do I, is our coach's contract? Damn. I don't, I don't like our coach, personally. Um, I believe we need to get a new coach. I mean, not new coach, new scout. He likes my attitude. He likes that I'm very confident. And um, Trent Mason, he was very... No, do not, do not, do not extend his contract. I don't think... We need somebody who's less than that. And Charlie... Ba oh, jeez. We got all guys who are terrible. Um, who's the other guy that we can replace? Trent, Ma Trent Mason. We got two guys on this team named Trent Mason. I don't know which one he wants us to... 
Oh, well, this one we kill two birds with one stone. We might as well do this one. Uh, who else can we get? This guy we might as well get. He's cheaper. Norm Sanders. I'm going to sign Norm Sanders for two years. I think we're probably going to need him for two years. Hire a head scout. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm stupid when it comes to that. I always forget half of the stuff that he said. And um, that's going to end up killing us. What else can we do here? Um, head coach, he's got one year left. We got budget of $4 million. I just want to browse the candidates. See if there's any current players that we can go for. One thing I've seen as a glitch is when you look the first time, that might be the only time you see some of the coaches that you want to get. And um, Greg Popovich. Oh, my God. We got a budget of $2.93 million, though. Um, if we want to sign someone else. There's really, we might as well let Gerald Spencer run out of his time for one more season. If things get bad next season, we can look into it, but Trent Mason, man, Chief Financial Officer, I think we're going to go after someone who's not going to be going after me so much about my uh, spending those whatevers, spending my points, man. I'm tired of spending all those points. He's getting, I cannot even handle the beer. Uh, oh, I thought man, I can't even handle I'm not going to be your CFO. I'm like, ah, don't do that, man. Loading, here we go. Alright, this is... I hate when the loading takes forever in this game. Um, what else do we need to resign? Is that it? I think the only thing we need to resign is... Uh, where is he? Trent Mason. I say we dish out both Trent Mason, seriously. <clears throat> Browse candidates, we got an 80k budget. We... Wow, okay. You know what, let's... Let's resign Trent, Trent Mason. Don't have enough room? Wow, okay, we are screwed, man. We are screwed in the assistant GM department. <sighs> he doesn't seem happy with us. He's up to a neutral. Um, did I talk to the guy before or something? And that why, that's why he's upset. I can't even figure it out. So, all right, our things all set up. We're re yeah, we're really tight on money. This is what makes this team very difficult. And uh, team player options. Uh, do we want Bismack Biombo? I kind of don't want him. Save us $4 million in contract? Man, I'm happy with just dishing out Bismack Biombo. He's a 68 overall. Give us room to sign somebody in any of these people right here. And we could go out and get Michael. Oh, he accepted. Damn, I was going to say we could go back and get MKG again. And who do we want on this team? Um, Man, I say we don't go after LeBron again. I think that goes without saying. Once we get LeBron once, you don't need him again. Uh, I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably gonna end this right before the draft. My free agents. Who do we want here? Chris Douglas Roberts. He's a 70 overall with morale. He's going up to 73. Ugh! Oh, that's over two years. Okay. All right. Um. Man, I don't know if I can. I think I can swing this. If he if he accepts that, that's le that's like legitimately saving my ass. And grass isn't greener. Uh, we made that trade for PJ Tucker, which makes me mad that we're losing him. But can we re-sign Jeff Taylor for a low amount? That'd be nice if we could. Nah, Jeff Taylor's not worth it, man. He's got like some mad low uh, overall. Was that 67? Bismack Biombo. I want to. I like him. I like the guy. I think we need more centers in this team. And we're going to lower his... We'll offer him that. And I don't care if he's taking it into consideration. See what happens. And based on my evaluation, they think we should target Gary Harris. I'm going to say won't draft just because I think that we got to go and we got to see if we can make a deal. Try to trade up in this draft because there's just... I know there's a lot of depth and having two picks can be helpful. But if we can trade and try to find a better player on this, uh, in this, what am I talking about? In this draft, I think we can do good. And we got a lot of picks if we want to try to trade. We got four picks in this draft. So guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys next time for the draft and free agents.